Sitting with a uh, soccer royalty, is it now? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, Teja? I guess I, I, I can't even shun away from it. I guess, I guess so. I guess so. I soccer guess so. royalty. Yeah, man. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, of course, it road march for 2024. DNA, Teja, your name is in the scrolls. Yeah, man. That, that for me is like a, a surreal moment. That's like, I, I call it kind of like, you know, destiny. It felt like it. Do you know what? I walked home after experiencing mm. the most amazing time on the streets. I walked with Kess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Through Carnival, out of Carnival. And the conversation that we had, he goes, Shawnee, I said, Kess, it's a tight one, you know. And I've gone on record and I said, <laughs> Mikhail's got this sealed star in capital letters. And people was in the comments like, boy, it looked like you signed the carnival contract already and one bag of things. Hmm. And Ken said to me, Shawnee, probably you don't know about his journey, but his journey in this thing, he's been involved in a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's so many people that want this kid to win it because it's about the new generation, yeah. the next generation generation is that how it felt to you yeah because um it's like it's a different type of love um from from the the, the granny on the street to the kids in the school to the man selling the water like everywhere we go like it's not just you know somebody just coming and telling you it's like since i would say like tobago carnival it's been like a outpouring love from all creeds, all, I've had a Muslim lady come up to me and say, listen, I don't really play carnival, but that song, that song make me feel something. And that for me is what kind of propelled the song. I've, I've never said road march in my life. I've never said, this is the road march. I've never done that. It has always been people saying like, road march. And I just be like, yo, well, you really feel so? All right, if you say so, then it's so. The voice of the people is the voice of God. And I just always leave it in the people's hands. Like even for Carnival Monday and Tuesday, I didn't really go out there and campaign. I, I played mass with Lost Tribe. I custom played mass with them. And I just sing on the truck and I let it be. And you know, it's the people just, just, just let, you know, just let it be. And you know, it, it is what it is. I've been playing that song on my radio show for about the last two months. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's been that song that's been trending in the charts. Mm -hmm. Big up to the Soka Source guy. I, I keep yeah. a very keen eye on their charts. Mm -hmm. Um, to see Wagwan in different regions as well, yeah. just to stay up to speed with everything Wagwan. And that's that one song that you've seen in all of the charts. Mm -hmm. And I've been reflecting on the radio show. And then when I came out here, I landed on a Sunday, I went straight to Juve in the night, and that record was in the streets. That's why I made that post. Yeah, yeah. And it felt the goosebumps. Yeah. Oh, oh, like the, yeah. the, the, the call and then the sing back for that song. And then when you listen to the lyrics, the DNA, and it's my first time being in Trinidad, mm -hmm. and my heritage is Dominican and Jamaican, but it's in my DNA. So yeah. I felt like it was part of my song as well. And as I said, I called it out from early, I, and at any chance, even though you said that you weren't thinking about road march, by mm -hmm. any chance did you think, Bungie's gonna take this? <laughs> So, no, I'll be honest, like, when we were around the big bands, yeah, it was a it was carnival contract. But for me, it was like, hmm, okay, maybe he does have it. And I was already prepared because I was like, you know what, listen, at the end of the day, it's not about, winning is not something that somebody tells you. Winning is a feeling. Coming from where I come from in Gonzales, like, just to be in the conversation, just to, have a song that people resonate with and in love with. I, I felt like I went already. So I was like, you know what? 
if 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 the carnival contract sign and that's it, <laughs> love man and, and, and love to garden because even us like you know there is a, a thing in Soka which is there's this this fierce competitiveness. And it was never really that. You know, every time I saw Garland, it was like, hey, love on general. And he and all come in and say, hey, yo, how much more you have our game for the night? It's like, nah, bro, I go in no man's sleep. And he's like, yeah, boy, I don't want to go man's sleep. So it was never really that between us. I didn't need that, as I told him as well, too. Like, to him, to me, he's a, a general. And me, I could never really feel, well, okay, I have a song. And I could, no, like, it's respect regardless. No, and just to see that love between us and... Yeah, if you win, congrats and keep it going. It's just over 24 hours since the news was released. How do you feel now? I am still tired from Carnival, uh, but it's a great feeling. Like as soon as we got the results, like I was just like, I didn't really cry, but I felt like you cried, told you. No, no, I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what I did. I, I was home, and when I got the call, I got the call a little early. Early, I said, "Boy, looking good, feeling you might, you might get through." I say, "Hmm." So my hopes started to go up a little bit. All right, then I uh, saw the um, footage from Tuco, and he said, you know, with 341 votes, you know, Mikhail Teja win. I was like, ah, all right. Like, I felt like my heart sinking a little bit, and I just breathed a, a sigh of relief, because, you know, anybody who been paying attention, like, we've been working, like, a lot, like, since last year with Hall of Fame and Mass, and then being on the road, and then coming back is, like, a lot of work, and it just felt like, you know, all this hard work is now paying off. I want you to elaborate on that even more because the way Kes talks about you is like you are a soldier that put in your hours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from the age of like 14, 15, I've been writing for like people like Destro Garcia and, you know, the late great blacks and many others, you know, even instrumental in Nyla, like Kes and Nyla Black Man woke out. And you know we end up going low, 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 low. Yeah, so... Uh, I've always been somebody who will be in the corner clapping for other people and when it's your time, it's your time. So that's the next thing too, I feel like now it, it's, it's like my time and you know everybody's also showing that love. So that, that, that's a big respect to me too as well now. So, yeah. When you hear, hear your peers um, looking at you saying it's your time, we want this for you, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel ready and prepared because I think I've, as you said, I've, I've put in the hours and Regardless of who it is, like I, I went up against Marshall in the Calypso as well, and it's still friendly competition. But I am not going to not back down. We in this, so we're gonna go. <laughs> but there's a love still now. But we're gonna go hard, and it's just about being prepared. And I think both for the road match and for the Young Kings and for the Calypso, I feel like I was prepared because of the hours I've been putting into the craft. You know, so let's get it right because I saw something yesterday. Is it three different like awards that you've received in this yeah. season? So one is the NACC Young Kings. Um, the other is a Panorama title, which is a, a real prestigious oh, title. They knocked the they knocked the song in Pan. Yes, uh, BP Renegades. Big big shout outs to B BP Renegades. They were able to win. So so that's two awards. What's the third one? And the third is the road match for 2024. I was honestly um, I'm not gonna even uh, you know think about it. Uh, so. I don't know if you're familiar with David Rudder. Yes, right? of course. The yeah. legend. So yeah. uh, he had a, a four-peat where he got the Young Kings, the Road March, the Calypso, and um, the the Pan. So I, I was like... You wanted the four. Yeah, I was going in. I was like football, in it? Champions yeah, you know, League, yeah. the FA Cup, yeah. and then the Premiership for everything. Yeah, we here. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Marshall came in and did what he had to do. And, and yeah, what I was, I was really... Like but has, has has Marshall now got all of the titles, like all the awards, not in one year, but like overall? I don't know if he have a panorama. I'm not sure either. I'm not sure if he has a Anybody panorama. in the comments? They yeah, no, comments. no, I'm not sure. But, but I mean, be a road match, be a soccer monarch, you know, yeah, that's the, that's the Dan, that's the goat. Who's, who's called you so far? Um... 
a lot, a lot. There's been a lot. Um, you know, Marsha reached out, Carlin reached out. So many people reached out. Um, yeah, to me, everybody, 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 everybody. 2024 is going to be a big year for you because mm -hmm. I'm here for the first time yeah. and I'm on the peripherals. I am on the outskirts and it's the first time that I really heard your name mm -hmm. when I saw your name on that record. But yeah. I feel that now it's going to definitely propel you to other places. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, I, I was at Notting Hill Carnival last year. Um, not like really in a big way, more like, you know, hey, come, we had this one event, stay for the carnival, see the vibes. And that was my first time in Notting Hill. Um, but now... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the yeah. brands are going to be calling him. <laughs> yeah, now, now They're going to need you everywhere. You you must have your flight booked already for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can chat to me in a people. We have the link, you get me. Um, tell me about you, a little bit about yourself and the camp that you're surrounded by because the team is here. Yeah. Um, so again, we, we are just like a bunch of creatives, you know. So I'm half of a group called System 32. You know, we've been producing for, you know, Marshalls, the 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 Ola Tunjis, the the, the Nyla Blackmans, the you know, the everybody. And that all happens in this space. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. But then this is Tano. He both him and I produced on DNA and a lot of other songs too. Uh we also did uh wrote and produced Marshall and Destra Shake the Place last year. So, you know, we also work as well now. So it's just like a, it's a group of creatives just love to make music and, you know, put it out. And before I came here, I was wondering who was Tano. As in, yeah. not we came here, but to Trinidad. I met Tano the other day yeah. with Kess because I saw his name next to all of Kess's records. Yeah. And it's nice to, as well to see that the artists are giving the producers yeah, a shine and sharing that platform because it's important for, um, for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, tell me about DNA and the creation of it. I mean, I think I always say working with Teja is like the easiest person to work with because you just had to give him like some chords and he kind of takes it from there, you know? So, I mean, working, I, I feel like outside of music, we're also friends. So, and I feel like that's how I like to work with people. It's like, you know, you like to have a genuine relationship and like, you know, any studio is, is, is always a conversation before we start the song. It's always like, yo, what's your headspace like? It's never like just send a beat. And, you know, so even with DNA, um, how long DNA, the concept took? Like, it took like a... A long time. Some months. It was actually like it wasn't even DNA when it started. It was you know we had the melodies and stuff, and he like sat down. He's like, "Yo, Mike, yeah, on a flight, I have this idea to put the words DNA." So it was definitely like a long process to get it to that stage. You know what I mean? The sound of um, Trinidad Soca has changed. It seems over the years, like it was very power heavy yeah. last year. It felt like mm -hmm. this year it didn't feel like the power was as powering to me. Looking from outwards, looking in, this has got like an emotion, a feel to this song. Is that what you lot was kind of going for with this song? Definitely, I think. Um, I think if you if you look at the society now, we kind of redefining ourselves and rediscovering ourselves in, in so much different ways now. And I just wanted to kind of tap into that emotion because at the end of the day, yes, we are a party people and we love to party and have a good time. But I think the conversation of who and what we are and now redefining with things like the Trinidad and the Zess and, you know, we're we now trying to figure out, okay, where these things have a place in our society? How do we translate this? Where does the soca fit in? Where does the calypso fit in? And, you know, I just kind of wanted to be on that pulse of who and what we are and trying to rediscover that. And I think DNA was, was, was where my headspace was with that. Would you say you're, like, in one of the leading positions as a producer, especially now, in um, being in Trinidad? I mean, it may seem so, I guess, but I feel like, you know, um, there's a lot of work still to be done. I feel like I'm still learning a lot. And even, like, working with Teja... Kess, Marshall, like, you know, I learn a lot from them, especially, you know, from Marshall, like, being around him, working on the Calypso. There's so much that we don't know and that we have to understand about Calypso to really take the music further, you know? So, yeah. Do you know what? I've heard this word Calypso mentioned yeah. so much during this trip. And Calypso is the roots of this music. I grew up to Calypso, you name it, from the Sparrow Dem to the, is it Tambu and all of these acts like yeah. Don't Back Back, um, Oh No We Ain't Going Home, Gypsy Love, Woman on the Bass, Rocket. Um, all these songs are big songs. Why do you feel like the music is returning back? Because even when you're out on the streets, you can hear the music has that, that Calypso vibe, a little bit more of your parents in it as such. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I feel like we are in a time where 
society has always been in a, at a place where the youths and the ones that came before have always felt like, hey, I want to be this rebellious youth. And what are they doing there? And I think that is changing because I think now we realize that the older generation was once the rebellious youth. And they kind of seen us as, you know what, yo, nah, we're not going to stop you all from doing that. Express yourself where you want to express yourself. However, like still try and learn and get to understand where the root is of where you come from. So I think now there's a bit more synergy of the generations coming together. It, it, it ain't perfect, mm. but it's a work in progress where you're seeing more dialogue between the young and the old. And I, I think that has never really been like that before. Because I, I, I could have a conversation with Marshall and talk about the music and talk about, hey, what we need to do, and Kess as well. Kess would be like, yo, you know, this, that, and reason. So I think that is something that wasn't necessarily there when I was way younger coming up. Do you know, it's weird. It feels like Caribbean music on a whole is now starting to speak to the old and the young and the young to the old. Because yeah. if you look at dance hall, we're seeing the return of jugglings in dance hall, where before we missed jugglings for the last five, six years. Big Bunks has been one of the biggest rhythms from last year. Dutty Money rhythm is coming true. Street Vibes rhythm is coming true. What about the music on an international basis? Because... Um, we're always going to chat about Afrobeats, but when I listen to, especially the Groovy Soca, I hear so much of the comparisons between Afrobeats and Soca music. Why do you feel that Soca is not getting that international respect? Oh, that's a big question. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it doesn't get the respect. I just feel like we have more work to do. I just look at it like that. You know, I feel like when you do the work and you're deserving of that, song or that movement i think is you know that's i just look at it like hey we have more work to do i don't look at it like way hey, they're not giving us respect or they're not you know they don't like our music i just think we have more work to do you know we have more we have better songs to write. we have better rhythms to make and i feel like now is the time to do that you know we have the team here we have the elders helping us so now is the time you know now is our time you know how do you respond to that after hearing that i'm big on the we have the elders helping us because i think that's a major part. So when we spent like how much, 16, 18 hours in the studio with Marshall, um, we learned a lot. Seriously? Yeah. What, one go, one time? One, one go. go. From 1 a.m. One <laughs> to 6 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Eight Marshall hours. is a beast, you beast. Know? Yeah, and, and it beast. was almost like a, a history lesson. Like sometimes we spend three hours just talking. That's a part of it and just learning, okay, oh, this is why this is and we should do this this way because this helps that and you know so I think having that and not having to rediscover everything all the time and having to reinvent the wheel no we could just learn from what they had and then propel I think that's the big part of what Afrobeat had like they were able to take from Fela Kuti and keep going and keep going and then you had the Peace Squares and then you had the others and then you had the Wiz Kids and the Burners and but us, we are now in a position where, all right, we had the Sparrows, we had the Super Blues, and then we had the Marshall, and then now they are now coming to, all right, let's help this next generation. Do you know what? I'm smiling because <laughs> I'm probably the same, more or the same age as Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't see ourselves as old, you know that, yeah, And you know, you know what it is? Because I feel like we're the forever young generation. Because if I looked at my father at the age group that I'm in now, my father was chilling out, going to play dominoes on a yeah. Sunday, drink some Guinness, whatever, this, that, there with his friends, home by 11 o'clock in his yard. Saturday night, probably want to go to a party. Me now, Medea Road. Mm -hmm. You get me? We're still involved in everything going on. So when I hear you lot speak of Marshall as one of the elder statesmen, which I know that he is, and he's been doing this from such a young age, then I realise, hang on, you know what? It seems like we're in a battle for the space from the elders them and from the young ones them. And it's like, who's going to get that space? Mm -hmm. And what's the reason why you, you want that space? I, I, I firmly believe that even though Marshall kind of stepped out of the road march thing this year, I still feel that he knows he's got so much to give to yeah. that space. Uh, and I, I'm glad you say that. And I think, because having conversations with him, like he, he gives, like, I think, if you just have a conversation with him, like you would realise that he actually gives, and but the given is not just or him coming and winning or doing. Like the given is information. The given is 
hey, maybe you could tweak that a little bit. Maybe that lyric ain't really. Maybe you should check out this. So check, and I think that's it right now. Now just having that conversation is where the given is because a, a, one conversation with him is what helps us to kind of, you know, we learn this, you know, and we learn to put in this amount of hours and yeah, touch this. Get the vibration from this. <laughs> touch the speaker, yeah. You know, th those little things now. Nah, 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 Is I that think, Marshall? Touch the yeah, speaker. Yeah, yeah, you have to feel the pulse, yeah. yeah. Me and him were like looking at each other like, okay, what's going on here? But yeah. yeah it's, but the, it's, it's like love. You can see like it's true. He is like, I think he said to me, I think it was me here, he was like, music is sacred to him now. And you could, you could see that mm -hmm. working with him, he doesn't care who in the room is just like, yo, I love this and I'm going to go to the end of whatever it takes yeah. to get this song right, you know? And I learned... From that, like now, that's how I wanna. That's how I wanna like work towards the music, you know. I, I'll be honest with you on this trip. Mm -hmm. I think I've realized where. I feel anybody that's not involved in the Trinidadian music space, you just think that soca music is just drink, party, mm -hmm. scantily clad ladies, mm -hmm. bottoms out, wine up, wine up. But there is a spirit. There is a soul, mm -hmm. there's a whole emotion that comes came, with Because you came for the carnival and you, you, you're able to experience the, I think, so the marketing of it is to, you know, anyone who isn't familiar with carnival or familiar with, with our culture, the marketing of it is come here, you could pour on a two-piece, you know, shake your ass, have a good time. And that's part of it. Trust me, like, we, we love that. That's part of it. But there's another side of it. Where, and that's why in the song I said, freedom in with DNA. So that's one form of expressing freedom. Another form is like there's the stick fighting. There is the like you sit down in the marsh ground, you see the kings and queens costumes. Like the costumes are a representation of so much different things. So it is so much that if you really take time to come to Trinidad and experience the culture outside of just Monday and Tuesday, like you'll understand why they call it the greatest show on it. Believe me, on Tuesday night, I was like, yeah, yeah, this. No, no, on, no, I'm going to be honest with you. And you know, I wasn't even drinking. Yeah, serious. I didn't even drink no punching on the night. I think I drink some of the champagne with Kess, and that was about it. I'll be honest with you, I wanted to look out for him. <laughs> I, I wanted to be his, his guard guy, like, yo, like, back up. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, be careful of your step over there. You get what I'm saying? What do you do now? in order for you not to be the guy that won it in 2024, full stop? Hmm. No, you had, re you had to ask that question again. I don't, I don't understand. What do you do now mm -hmm. in order not to be Mikel Tasia, 2024, full stop? What happens for 2025, 2026? How do you continue this legacy of winning Probably one of the most coveted titles that is attached to soca music and carnival culture. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do now? So, uh, I think that question I, I have to answer it in two parts. First part is we have a scene in Trinidad. What is to is will is, it cannot are. You have to break that down to me. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, well, let me see if I can. What is to is? What is to is? You know what I'm talking about then? Yeah. yeah. What is to is? So, in other words, that's like saying if it's mat, if the mats is matsing right now. Yeah. Yeah. If it is to is, it will, it will it, be. It kind of ah. You understand? Right. Right. Meaning, if it is to be, it will be. be. And the second answer to that is for me, I have never stopped being myself, so continuing to just be myself. And I'm not saying that I'm going to now look for the road march for 2025. Like, no, that's, that's, that has never been my mission. I think road march is something that the people identify with and they say is road march. For me, I just want to continue making real good music and servicing the people and servicing the culture. You know what I love about the streaming culture right now? Mm -hmm is that once you discover an artist, you have the choice of going forward or going backwards. If somebody had to go and look at your musical catalog online right mm. now, after hearing DNA, what three songs would you tell them to go and investigate from your catalog? Mass, for sure. Hall of Fame, for sure. 
a dingole with Nyla for sure. I could keep going on. Because <laughs> Runaway, oh my God, as a personal favorite as well, Runaway. Like, I don't, I make music that I love. So when I love it, I feel like people would love it because it comes from a place I love too now. So, yeah, I mean, go through. Like, you must you must see your numbers changing on your, your streaming. Yeah, right? yeah, nah, it is, it is, it is. It is. <laughs> it's bare love, bare love, bare love. Like, I'm seeing, I'm seeing love all the way from like, like Dominica, Switzerland. I'm glad you start like, with that. God, there's some my people come from. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've Holy been to shell. Dominica um, this year. I had the crab back. Tastes real good. I had the coco tea as well too. Yeah, that, that, don't chat to me like that. I've been there once for 72 hours. Shh. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to be that so much better. I, I'm on this thing. Yeah, Trust yeah. me. I'm I'm there. But a lot of nature though is like a lot of. Yeah, yeah, but they that. but they love bouillard. Like they love like power. Like so for me when I see them like giving like a groovy emotional song like I was like okay all right but then again like good music is good music and Boy I feel like going in right now like, yeah yeah it, for me I, I don't want to be biased but it feels like it could be right now the music that is pushing right now for the character because in the fets them especially at home do you see those Dominican flags them out oh, no, you right see it right here in Trinidad like like that bouillon beat is like Heavy here, like we love, like there's a particular rhythm, like you know, the whistle. Like, once you play that, the whole place is just <laughs> wake up. So, I mean, and again, that's why when I said, I never said like Trinidad DNA or Trinbegunian DNA. I feel like in the Caribbean, we are the same, like we love the same rice and peas, peas and rice, be the same chicken, curry, curry, chicken, the same, like. The same, the really same. I think it goes, after being here, I think it goes further than just the Caribbean. Because I want to carry a couple of my Indian regions in from like Southall, Wembley and Harrow in the UK. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of people that I know that have the name Patel. Yeah. I know a couple, my good friend called Barat. When you come to this country, yeah, it feels like you could be in India. <laughs> like, real, real talk, you know. Like, real. I want to carry a couple of my Indian regions in here just to make them come here and be like, fuck, mm -hmm. what's going on? I think they're going to feel like how I may feel when I go to Africa. Like, yo, mm -hmm. pure black people here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to come here and feel like they must have family over here. Like, extended, ex <laughs> like how we got extended yeah. family all around the world. Uh, that there's a, a, such an Indian culture that's over here. And it's real to real Indian people as well. Yeah, like, the, we are really, really mixed up. Like, you have... Well, we, we, we call it Chala Street is now Chinatown. And then you go across there to another section. You see Roti selling like a couple buildings down. And then you go a next couple buildings down, you're seeing Creole food. And then you go a next building down, you're seeing some other things selling. And then you go across, you're seeing Jamaican jerk. And then like we are... I saw, I noticed that. Yeah, we, we mix up. It was, but I, I eat doubles when I'm at home. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. Oh, bro. It's not the, same. The, the chickpea alone. The, the, I, haven't, I haven't had the roti since I've been there. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everyone's cussing me. It's like, how much can one man eat in <laughs> one time? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard. It's hard. Listen, I just want to big you up. Congratulations Thank you. Um, to you once again. Well deserved since I've come here. The way that the people just speak of you. Genuine love. Yeah. Like, he's a good youth in the streets and they're so happy that you've got your opportunity and for you to be able to fly the flag for the music. Um, yeah. If people want to follow you online, how do they follow you, sir? On every platform, M-I-C-A-L-T-E-J-A, -E -E, every platform. Every platform. You could just follow me, hit me up. I try my best to respond to everybody. Oh, it's gonna it's change. Hard. Yo, it's gonna it's change oh, now. Shit, he's gonna, so he's hard, gonna change. Bro. He's gonna change. But nah, like I, I try to like go through as much <laughs> messages and just respond because like I like communicating with people. Like I like, you know, like even when I'm outside, like I take like a hundred pictures. Like I, I take whoever. Yeah, come, we take a picture. Like I never. I don't think you can outdo kids. I gotta be honest with you. Yeah, no, yeah. Bro, oh bro, my bro, bro. bro. Yeah, 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 boy. Boy. We can't even walk. <laughs> You can't even walk. No, no. Yeah. I, I experienced it. It's, yeah. it's something nuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Tano, yourself? Yeah, man. Tano on everything. Tano on everything. 
Are, are you open for doing production for UK soca artists yeah, and all the rest 100%, of it? 100%. I mean, I, I produce outside of soca as well, too. Okay. You know, so I've done stuff with like Rama. I work with Russian as well, too. What? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. 2020, oh. I did a song with Rama and Russian. We were number one in Nigeria for like maybe three weeks. Yeah, Rama featuring Russian. Yeah. This is a whole nother discussion right here, sir. And that's all just from when so, you're here. I mean, being based in Trinidad, you know, Caribbean people link up. So I have a brethren who would have worked with Russia and we kind of link up through that, you know. So Caribbean people all over the place, man. And I linked up with, um, what's his name yesterday? First Class? Yeah, man. Oh, like, he, man. oh, man. Okay. And then when he was oh. telling me, like, Sean, I've been trying to link you forever. He took my yeah. phone, went in my DMs, yeah. and he showed me, he's like, and then I produced yeah. this, I produced that, I yeah, produced yeah. blah, blah, blah. Right here from Trinidad. Yeah, we have some, like, talent, yeah. Man. We now start, we now start, we now start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to be back, people. Listen. And you have to get a roti when you come back, bro. No, no, Proper roti. You had any pillow? I guess in nah. Salt. Nah. What, wait. Do you know what it is? What you get? We we've been eating since you've been here. Uh, since I've been here, I'll tell you what I've been eating. Um, I've had doubles since I've been out on the road. I just had some pork thing in like the... Jira? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the Jira. It was a peppered pork that I had though, but like in little bunting and whatever. And what else have I been eating since I've been here? Um, do you know what? Not my fault. I never asked to go there, mm. but they took me to a jerk spot. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jerk is like a big thing in Trinidad. Oh, is it? That's yeah, a big Trinidad thing. Trinidad is like a big jerk. Mm. Oh, yeah. cool. Uh, Wait, few. which jerk you had? Dude? Um, it was in like one local food court place. Woodbrook Yard. No, it wasn't Woodbrook Yard. I went Woodbrook Yard. Food Square. Food Square. Uh, yeah, it was Food Jerkers. Square. Yeah, jerk. That's a bigger poison. Poison, yeah. 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 Bigger poison. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. And then I think we went to like a burger spot yesterday, but it was just so no, when you come back, bro, we need to get you like a, a proper roti, mm -hmm. some pillow, um, dumpling and saltfish. I had bacon shark. Bacon shark, yeah. You know, I mean, yo, you gotta go to Bago too, the crab and dumpling, bro. Jeez. Yeah. Is it soft shell crab? Yeah, like oh, proper God. crab, bro. Like, yeah. Kalalu, you know like a pro, like Trinidadian Sunday lunch, like that's a big <laughs> deal. Like, yeah, that's a big deal. No joke. You know what? It's during carnival. It's hard to yeah, really hard, during hard. that time <laughs> because one of the things that you don't see a whole heap over here is food stores out on the road, just like that. In England, mm. it's a lot different. You can just eat from wherever, yeah. but it's only in certain places when you kind of go more downtown or whatever mm. that you see like the food stores come out and whatever. But I've been trying to sleep as well. And I don't, I'm away, I haven't trained for three weeks. By the time I get back, I don't want to put on too much weight. Yeah. Shawnee B in a former life was definitely Shawnee being. <laughs> I was a big guy, you get me? So all of this peel out and everything that you love to do about, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have to space it out. Listen, it's a joy. Congratulations you, once again. Appreciate it, brother. Link them up, people. Yeah, Tano, right. Teja, Shawnee B, Trinidad. <laughs>